Hello all. Uh, on this video, we will learn how to set up your own penetration testing lab. Uh, to set up your own penetration testing lab, we will use a virtual machine. Uh, so virtual machine is a kind of software uh, by which you can install another operating system inside your host operating system. So for now, I am using Windows 7. So in Windows 7, I can install any uh, my operating system that is Kali Linux and another operating system that is uh, Ubuntu. Uh, it's a vulnerable uh, OS, so we will attack from this Kali Linux to this uh, vulnerable OS. So let's start with the installation part. So first we will start uh, VirtualBox. You can download from uh, the VirtualBox website. It's a open source software. Either you can use VMware or any other virtualization software. So let's click on this next, next. And uh, so so uh, when when you click uh, when you install the virtual box the thing you need to care is uh, about the networking and one more thing uh, like when you are installing the virtual box keep in mind uh, we have already provided a virtual box installation uh, virtual box installation setup file uh, with this course so when you install the operating system you can install the kali linux and you can download the kali linux iso from our website also you can download the Kali Linux directly from the main website of Kali Linux that is uh, kali.org but I would suggest to stick with this version because uh, in this version we have some tool which is not present in the uh, latest version. So let's install this one first. Uh, now you need to uh, install this device driver so for now uh, let me tell you uh, what I am using so I am using Windows uh, 7 and uh, it's a 64 bit operating system so the virtual box which I have provided uh, is for the 64 bit you can download for the 32 bit from the virtual uh, virtual VM, uh, VM virtual box website. So I will start with this one. Now we have installed the virtual box here. So now, uh, as you can see, we have installed the virtual box. Uh, 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 previously, I have installed it and I have already added a virtual machine here. So let me tell you. So this is the virtual box and this operating, uh, we are using the Windows 7. So what we need to do is we need to install uh, two other operating system. One is the Kali Linux, that is an attacker operating system, and one is the vulnerable ISO. So that is Ubuntu server, uh, which is having an application and a web application, uh, which we will try to to create a virtual machine in Live. I will uh, click on New. So I will click on New, then I will name it Kali, and uh, what I would select the linux operating system and uh, let's select the debian uh, that kali linux with the debian so i will select debian 64 bit for now click on this and maybe it's uh, uh, it's the ram so basically to to your virtual machine you need to keep some ram so i think uh, if your laptop is 4 gb or more then that's good or if not then i would not suggest to test all the virtual machine because it will hang your system so i will make it something like this and I will click on next and again next uh, everything should be on default and I would go 8 GB that's more than enough and I will click on next so now click on this and click on setting in the setting go to advanced setting and uh, let's go to the description everything is looking fine go to system uh, seems to be fine so I will remove the floppy from here and here you can change the boot order so in the boot order what I will do is uh, the first boot order is optical drive so that's fine then second is a hard drive and third is a network so that's that's looking fine to me and go to the display go to the storage in storage what you need to do is uh, we have this one uh, we have the hard disk over here so what we need to do is uh, here in the uh, in the id uh, in the optical drive what you need to do is to add 
a right click on right uh, remove the id uh, remove the optical right either so let's go to the setting in the setting everything seems fine go to system and in system remove the floppy and your boot order is the first one is the optical drive now let's go to the storage in the storage click on this click on the live cd dvd and click on this one and choose the virtual uh, virtual optical disk file in this disk file i will go uh, to drive and i will to, uh, just select the Kali Linux first and we have the Kali Linux right now now uh, everything seems to be fine now let's go to the network uh, stick it uh, in the network enable the network adapter if not and make it net for now and everything seems to be fine for now okay so after saving it click on start and when you will start uh, your Kali Linux will boot on live uh, mode so you can see this Now your Kalinux is getting booted and uh, you will need to check something like uh, internet is working proper or not and all. So let's wait for it. Now till uh, we are installing the Kalinux, let's install the another machine that is, uh, let's go to this, click on create new and the new machine will be the victim machine. So name will be the victim machine and I will select again the Linux and I will make it Ubuntu 64 bit. I will click on next in 768 mm that's more than enough and enough everything should be default the name related 8 GB fine so we have selected another machine we will click on this and uh, let's go to the storage uh, let's go to the system first in the system remove the floppy and go to storage in the storage select this click on live mode select this one and and here i will select the modable iso file so this also seems to be fine to me let's select network is on behind the network so for the virtual machine and networking you can uh, learn a lot on many website now for for now we have booted up our virtual machine so let's test the virtual machine so you can see we have another operating system inside the windows os so this is our Kali Linux and uh, let's check IP config is a command to check the network so we have 10.0.2.5 and uh, let's ping google so we can check as the internet is working or not so we can uh, we can easily ping google that means the uh, internet is working properly so uh, let's close this one now as we have one virtual machine over here now start the victim virtual machine also so when you install the victim virtual machine it's a ubuntu server and having an application uh, inside the server that is a vulnerable operating system so we click on enter so when you click so ubuntu is booting up and and let's test either the this ubuntu and that kali Linux can communicate to each other or not uh, via the net so i have config would be used here also so i will use i have config and my ip address is 10.0.2.15 so in kali linux uh, what i will need to do is that open that ip address so we can check whether that ubuntu server is working or not so i will use as well uh, so so i will use any any of the browser you can use i will use a by default browser 10.0. 2.15 that's the IP address I think uh, let me check once again so IP address 10.0.2.15 okay fine 0 0.2.15 since we find uh, uh, let me check the uh, 10.0.15 okay so we, we have the same IP address for both of the system that means we cannot ping that system so what we do is uh, we need to simply go to the virtual machine and uh, we need to change the network preferences over here. So I will click on preferences 
and in the preferences go to the network let me check and what I need to do here is go to here go to setting and setting go to this and I will make it net network net. I will make it bridge I will select the wireless adapter because I have connected myself with the Wi-Fi so I will click on wireless and click on OK network setting is done now I will try to open Google again So it will take a bit time to again to uh, to reset the network. Seems to be connected. So I am able to open the Google. Now I will check my IP address again here because I have used the bridge, so IP address will will be changed. So my app address is 192.166.0.147. Now the same thing I need to do for the uh, victim machine also. So I will click on setting. I will go to network. I will click on this. I will click on bridge and select the wireless. Okay, and turn and go to this. And I will put the same command again. So sorry. So I will shut down and restart the system again. Okay. Oh, sorry, not the shutdown command for here. So what I need to do is uh, reset the machine. Click on reset. So as we have changed the networking setting to. I will need to reset the machine once again. Now I will click on IP config. I uh, sorry, I have config. So it's one zero one four eight and it's one four seven. So we have two operating system. One is one four seven. One is one four eight. That is this one. So we are ready to go. And in the next video, uh, we will learn about best script commands and how to use tools and how to attack from this attacker system to this victim system.